On this question, we want to solve the exponential equation. And our equation is 9 to the x over 2 equals 20. So up on the top, I have a table of different methods for solving exponential equations. And the first method is, that is sort of our go-to method is called relating the bases or uses what's called the one-to-one -one property for exponents. And in this method, you try to make the bases the same on, the bo on both sides so that you can use that one-to-one -one property and say that the exponents are equal to each other. And if you look at the bases in our example, we have a base 9. And 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. So you could change that to a 3. But 20 is not um, an exponential expression. It can't be changed to 1. I guess technically it can be written as 20 to the first power, but we can't change that base to some other base easily. So this method of relating the bases cannot be used in this example. However, we have these other methods that are available to us for solving. We could try to convert to an exponential, or we could try to take the log of both sides. I'm going to show you both methods. Um, when you convert the exponential to a logarithmic equation, you're going to use the definition of a logarithm, and you follow this pattern that you see here. If you start with y equals b to the x, you would write that as a log equation, log base b of y equals x. The other method is to take the log of both sides. This is something that we're allowed to do because logarithms are one to one. And so you would start off with y equals b to the x, take the log of both sides, then you can use properties of logarithms. You're going to use the power rule for logarithms on this step. And then you're going to solve for your variable by dividing. So let me start by showing you the first method. So if you would like to convert to a logarithmic equation, this is the way you would do it. You would use log with base b. That's base 9. The log always equals the exponent. So the exponent is x over 2. And then what's inside the log is going to be what our exponential expression equals. So 20 goes here. So that gives log base 9 of 20 equals x over 2. Then we need to solve for x. So we would multiply by 2 on both sides. And that gives x equals 2 log base 9 of 20. So that's solving it with the method of converting to a logarithm. Now the other method is to take the log of both sides. So we would start with our original equation. 9 to the x over 2 equals 20. We take the natural log of both sides, that's natural log of 9 to the x over 2 equals natural log of 20. We're going to use the power rule for logarithms, which allows us to move that power into the coefficient. So that's x over 2 natural log 9 equals natural log 20. And then I can solve this by getting x by itself. So to get that x by itself, I've got to get rid of this 2, which is divided, and this natural log of 9, which is multiplied. So what I can do is I can multiply by the reciprocal. I can multiply by 2 over natural log of 9. And that will cancel out the 2s. And that will cancel out the natural log of 9, leaving me with x. And that gives 2 
natural log of 20 over natural log of 9. Now when you look at these two answers, it doesn't look like they're the same. But if we type both of these into our calculator, you'll see that they come out to be the same decimal. So let's take a moment to type them both into the calculator and confirm that they're actually the same value. So I've got my calculator here, and I'm going to type the log on the left in. Let me clear this out so it doesn't look quite so messy. And I can use in the math menu at the bottom, there's log base. And I want to do log base 9 of 20. Whoops. Log base 9 of 20. And I really should have multiplied by 2 first, but I can multiply by 2 right now. And that's approximately, let's say, 2.73. if we round to the hundredths place. And then let's type in our other log. We're going to put parentheses around our numerator. 2 natural log of 20. Close parentheses for the log, close parentheses for the numerator. And then we're going to divide by natural log of 9. And close parentheses for the log. And we get approximately 2.73, just like the other one. So even though the answer we get on each one of these looks a little bit different, they're just an equivalent way to write the answer. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.